Today we're going to mess around with gallium, which is a metal that will melt at near room temperature or in some hot water. Check it out. Yeah, melt that mother. This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Squarespace. Gallium is a nifty metal that sits on the periodic table as GA or number 31. Once you apply 85.5 degrees Fahrenheit to it, it'll melt and let you have your way with it. For example, if we start by taking some 95 degree water, the gallium in solid form will start dripping down into liquid form once we dip it in. This creates a pool of awesomeness, or as T1000 might call it, a mimetic polyalloy. Hang on a second, you'll see why. Once you've melted down the gallium and drained the water from the cup, you can mold this stuff into any shape you want. To keep things simple, we'll start with a simple metal popsicle. Oh, that's right. Gallium is non-toxic, so unlike mercury, you can actually touch it without worrying of becoming mad. All right, let's put a nail in here so we have a popsicle stick. Now we'll walk away for a little while until it cools and look what we come up with. Beautiful. Looks like our metal popsicle is ready to melt. The first thing I tried was a barbecue lighter, but the effect wasn't that great, so I decided to bring out a blowtorch. As you can see, the result was much more, uh, satisfying. Okay, now let's move on to molding. To kick off the metal molding process, we need some candle wax. We want to melt down a decent sized candle into a bubbling crude. So take your candle, toss it in a pan, put it on high heat, and after a few minutes, it'll start melting down like the value of the dollar. Once you have enough liquid wax, pour it into a bowl and let it cool. Now, we're going to repeat that process, except we're going to put it in a different bowl. Fantastic. Now, I really wanted to see what gallium can do. So after the wax was cooled down, I took my house key, heated up the wax just a little bit to make it pliable, and then I pushed it down to the halfway point of the key. Once that was in, I mailed the top layer of the wax a bit and pushed it down on top. After it dried, the result was a nearly perfect replica of my house key. This thing has just been gallonized. Yeah, I just made that word up. Once you have your wax mold, pour in a little bit of gallium, and then wait about 30 minutes. The result should be spectacular. Okay, check out the result. A nearly identical house key. Let's test it out. This is science at its finest. Imagine the next time your friend leaves his key over at your house and what you can do with it. All right, guess we won't be needing that key anymore. Let me know in the comments what you would do with gallium if you could mold it to anything you wanted. Thank you for tuning in. I want to thank our sponsor this week, Squarespace, and we'll see you next time. Squarespace is an easy and flexible solution for anyone who's looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website, really. And don't worry, if you come across any questions or issues, Squarespace offers every user 24-7 support. Squarespace just pushed a brand new social widget for geolocation services that will display your most recent check-ins from Foursquare, Gowalla, even Facebook places on a live Google map. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are actually powered by Squarespace, and not to mention many of the personal pages of Revision 3 hosts and personalities. Check out squarespace.com slash science and get a free two-week trial and learn more.